What's up, vlog? We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. Do you guys remember that intro? Or do you guys remember the ding? <laughs> What's been your favorite Brooke Art entry? And should we bring back more structure to the vlog? The little, like, what about the little animated logo that used to spin? What was your favorite? Let us know down below in the comments. It's a little gloomy. Sarah woke up. She thinks she had a migraine. She went to bed losing her sight. She thinks she actually experienced the... You did? Did I? Yeah. I went to bed losing my sight? Yeah, you said that. I don't know. And then when, that's why I said this morning when you were like, well, feeling really weird, that she probably experienced the peak of her migraine during her sleep. That's how weird it is, especially if you don't know how migraines feel. Um, so she's like rebounded, so she's feeling good, but she's not feeling a Honda percent a hundred percent so she's not cooking I'm not cooking we're going to get this place called umami burger <laughs> wait a minute the place I've been talking about we're going to get burgers I thought was this place over here on Belmont a called few Bop and Grill, <laughs> which we have been to before but we've never been to umami burger we've always wanted to and Peter's like we've been there I swear and I'm like no we haven't how do we get to umami should we go to umami burger is it a fast food joint I've heard fabulous things, but it is kind of a process because it's the blue line. Ooh, that is a process. Or a bus. Ooh, that is a process. are thinking we're just gonna get something in our neighborhood this is the menu you can pause if you want to take a look so this is called wicked and sweet chicago eatery I think but it's it, only temporarily called wicked and sweet. yeah because it has this other sign supper house chicago so maybe it's a new owner we don't know but it looks good oh, they honestly, got this caught my eye <laughs> which is yeah. like microsoft word <laughs> but hey, it's we're done. staying for the menu i think oh, yeah. we got chicken pot pie they got chicken pot pie. They have beer cheese mac, which I'm all about. What do you think? Less of an adventure. We were, okay, so then we were going to go to Umami Burger. We were just going to drive there. We have to put a new sticker on our car regardless. We haven't gotten our, like, our sanctioned right. parking sticker yet. But this would be way much less of a headache. It just sounds good. And I want hot apple cider. Yeah. There's only weeks left before. Finite. <laughs> and you're on to the mold wine? Yeah. That was truly how we felt tonight. Hi! Gonna have some supper? Ew. You're on the bus. <laughs> so we ordered a chicken pot pie, Reuben, and their beer mac and cheese. And they told us that they opened in March of 2020 and the chicken pot pie is like one of their best sellers. And it kept them afloat all through last year. That and meatloaf. And so they're excited that the weather is cooling down again because people want chicken pot pie. Oh, what do you got? We're sharing everything, right? Yeah. First thing to come out is our little Caesar salad action. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, our Rubens. Ruben came. Pretty nice, hefty size. I like the, the way the bread looks on them. Mm -hmm. Chicken pot pie is small, but we were just talking about hockey. The chicken pot pie is good, it packs a punch. So I think overall, since we're sharing everything, this is a good, good size. Yeah, and we're having mac and cheese too. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> our little mac and cheeses came. These cute little ditties. I already took a bite and it's really good. Now the question is, when are these leaves gonna change? Oh, no. Are you stuffed? Yeah. 
the pot actually the pot pie was my like wasn't the winner for me I prefer a soupier pot pie with like shredded chicken so I believe the ingredients that were in it uh -huh. were divinity yeah they were really good you love that spoon? where'd you get that spoon so fun on the ground Oh, oh, look at the beautiful fall display on our sunroof. We are going to try and find a better parking spot. So for some context, when I went to go park yesterday, um, after about 15 minutes at that time of day, I was like, you know what? This would be difficult in the fusion. It'll probably be too much trouble than it's worth for me to find a parking spot within a few blocks of our apartment. So I opted to just drive a half mile away to where I knew there was a lot of bigger spots. So, we might still get that scooter, and then I might just end up like keeping it in the car so I can scooter back home if it ends up being a routine that I just park further away to save time, and then I can scoot to it. Yeah, we only drive like once a week, typically. So we're gonna try to find a spot because it's only like 6, 6.30 in our neighborhood. This sky is super beautiful. These trees are super beautiful. They're actually starting to change. Do you carry them? Yes. But there's a bend plot twist. James, he fell asleep. Look how sweet he looks. With that like light hitting his face. Yeah, where's that light coming from? So our plan was to stroll the neighborhood with some hot cider we got from the restaurant as well as these apple cider donuts. But with James he's sleeping, we decided just to come home. We are starting season two of You. We had watched season one like two years ago. Um, I think it was actually like like IVF prep with Sweet Pea like a long time ago. Um, and I mean it is like a freaky show. But we enjoyed it. But I then saw recently a season three trailer and I was like, I never even saw season two and it has the actress from Haunting of Hill House and Haunting of Bly Manor. I wish I knew her name. I'll put it her name here because she deserves um, the credit. She's a great actress, um, but she's in it. And so I just finished rewatching season one. It had been so long and I'm just somebody who like I need to refresh um, just so I know all of the little details. So I just finished rewatching season one and I think we're gonna watch a couple episodes of season two tonight and kind of just chill like we haven't like even though we've been home like we're still kind of playing catch up after the weekend just like body and mind so I think that's the plan for the rest of the night. Peter is outside with Eve so before they come back in and start I gotta show you what we got in the mail. We went with Hannah Anderson for our matching Christmas jammies. I'll take them out and show you. So we have Peter's set, just like a crew neck, long sleeve with the trim, and then the jogger, jammy pants, and then Jamesy's little zip up. So cute. Here's Eve's. It does have like little arms, which she's not usually crazy about, so we'll see if she likes it or not. And then I got a nightgown. I got candy jewel because Sarah wanted these, and because we need the toilet paper. And now I'm looking at this wall of candy and I just, I want it all. I resisted it and just went with this additional delicious treat. Oh gosh, there's some people hiding in a tent. Oh, hello. Peek-a-boo! Ah! <laughs> Where'd Jamesy go? Jamesy, knock, knock, knock. <laughs> ah, there he is. Go away. <laughs> oh, Evie, Evie found him. Evie got him. Oh, she's got her lie lie. Oh, sorry. Hide. Where'd Jamesy go? Oh, no, where did Jamesy go? One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> 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 
good. Was Evie not like hide and seek? <laughs> Sleep sack or oh. I come out I come out from putting dreams to bed and look at this like fall Halloween candle organized clean Nemo oasis with some behind the attractions on. He he's he fought me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he had a later nap. So happy you sound. You wanna watch you? Think so. Spooky spooky. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs> 